Hi there, my name is David Frosdick from davidfrosdick.com. Um, I'm going to show you how you can get excellent quality Camtasia recordings and get them on YouTube in the widescreen format. Okay, now if you do a search on Google for the best Camtasia settings for YouTube, you'll find a video like this, and this is by Bill Myers, and this is an excellent video for showing you how to get quality recordings for the 640 by 480 settings that YouTube used to have. Now this video was uploaded in 2007, and the quality of this video was outstanding at the time of 2007. YouTube then changed their player width to put in the wider screen format. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can use build settings but still get um, you know, wider screen format when you upload to YouTube. Now, firstly I'm recording this video at 1280 by 720. I've just used the settings recommended by YouTube here that say 1280 by 720, although it says for HD. I've still gone 1280 by 720 because I want to fill the YouTube screen once I upload it and I don't want to have the pillar effect with the black bars on the side. Now the pillar effect can still be seen if someone was to embed my player on their site because most of the embed scripts are still at 640 by 480 so I'll show you the results of my video when you upload it but you'll see how it looks actually when how it'll still look if someone embeds it on their site but anyway okay I'll jump into Camtasia here so I've already recorded this video this is at 1280 by 720 and I'm in Camtasia. Now what I'll do, I'll just um, quick produce, click, sorry, produce video as and from here I'll select um, custom production and I'm going to choose MOV, the quick time movie format. Okay, actually, sorry, before I do that, if I just jump, make sure you set your video, the project settings. I've set my project settings to the same size I've recorded that. Okay, so I've done that by clicking here, project settings and the screen I've set to shrink to fit just so I can see when I was editing it earlier. Okay, so from here click produce video as custom produ production settings, click next, then MOV, so the QuickTime Movie, you'll need QuickTime Player installed for this format to work, so I'm going to choose the MOV. You'll see it's giving me some info there just about the size and the audio quality, and I'll click next, and the custom size again is 1280 by 720 and I'll click next again, and I'll click next again, and I'll click next again, and I've already done untitled, I'm just doing these as tests, so untitled test one, and I'm just going to click finish, and I'll just let Camtasia render that project, um, and I'll show you the results afterwards. Okay, so here are the production results that Camtasia has produced. Um, it's now going to automatically pop up the window, which I'll just close that down. Okay, so you'll see here it shows you the size. It's uh, 6.16 megabytes. This is for uh, um, the video that's actually produced. It's not very long, that video. So for the video I'm filming, this one I'm actually doing is about five minutes. So it's probably going to be much bigger than that. Um, but that's the MOV. That's the file size. Now what I'll do is I'll upload an example to um, YouTube and you'll see how it looks. Okay so here's an example video that I put on YouTube earlier today just to test and you'll see it automatically fills the screen completely um, and if you flick through you'll see the zoom in quality. It's still actually quite good quality as well on it. So this is just the test and these are the results. I've done a test video earlier. Um, obviously the video you're watching now is in full screen so you can see how it works. But I want to show you still how it is if you jump over to um, if I jump over to my videos and I actually click on to edit this one. And now you'll see on the right here it shows this is actually the how the size sorry that someone would embed the video. So if they clicked on your link and chose to embed it in their own website, most likely they're going to um, have the embed size at 640 by 480. So they're going to see this, and you'll still see the pillar effect um, top and bottom. And obviously when it plays the video, it's still going to see you're still going to see the pillar effect. So sort of no way around that if people are embedding your videos. But if they're playing on YouTube, they're going to have um, the right size. As you can see here, they're going to have the right size of the video and it's going to fill the screen completely. So I recommend you subscribe to Bill's YouTube channel and watch some of his videos about Camtasia and getting his settings right. You get some excellent information there. Um, and then if you want more tips from me, you can sign up to my YouTube channel or you can subscribe to my 
say um, over at davidfrosick.com and I'll send you out some video tips. Anyway, I hope that helps some of you if you're putting videos on YouTube.